Hi beauties, welcome back to our monthly sit down of uh, unboxing all of our monthly subscriptions uh, that I've had to wait on because I was waiting to get my mom's. So yeah, we're doing it. Uh, it's July 31st and these are July's boxes. So technically still filming them in July. They will not post in July, obviously. So uh, yeah, sorry on the delay. It is always what it is. Um, I'm also just, for fun, just for fun purposes of telling you guys a backstory. Uh, I'm exhausted today. We had a lot, we have a lot of stuff planned. It's Saturday. We have a lot of stuff planned for today. Like Rocky went to the vet this morning. We knew we had to film these and then we're going over to have dinner with Nikki's parents like in an hour or so. And so last night we were supposed to go like look at TJ Maxx and check out their Halloween stuff. And then after dinner, both of us fell asleep on the couch because we're old now. And so we woke up at like nine o'clock and we're like, well, I guess we should drink because that's all we do for fun. So uh, we, instead of like casually drinking, wound up going really hard and then we didn't go to the bed till like three in the morning. And I, I used to be able to drink like a whole lot and feel nothing the next day, like I'd be fine. And now I, if I have like three drinks, I'm hungover for a week. So, uh, which is why we only drink on weekends now because I physically can't do anymore. But I'm half dead today. If I look half dead, that's why. If I sound half dead, that's why. Okay, if you're new here, welcome. I can't believe you stayed, but yeah, I'm a mess. And uh, this is Ipsy versus Ipsy, where I take my Ipsy subscription and my mom's Ipsy subscription and I combine, I, no. No, I compare, that's the word I was looking for. I compare the two and I figure out which one I like better as a total bag and which five products from both of our bags I would pick out if I could make my ideal bag from the 10 items that we received this month. Uh, we do this with the plus, which is what this video is. We also do it with a standard. Um, and I don't I don't remember my bag at all. I don't. I, I do remember being like pretty, pretty pleased with it. Like I didn't think it was a bad month or anything like that, but I don't remember anything about it. I will say, I don't know what mom got. I know she showed me. I don't remember what she got because that was a month ago and might as well be a year. But she took your guys' advice. She changed her age from 57 to 37. She said she may even go younger. So she went 20 years back. She got makeup options this month that I did not get and I have never seen and then I was jealous of. So it totally worked. So. I, yes, everybody who said change your age, if you are having the same kind of issues where you're getting a lot of skincare, especially if you're older, I would highly recommend if you're looking for makeup, changing your age to something lower. I'm half tempted to change my age just as an experiment to see, like instead of being listed as 27, if I put it at like 21, am I gonna see different products? You guys know what I'm saying? Cause I'm getting close to 30. So they're like, you probably could use a wrinkle cream. And I'm like, I mean, I could, but that's offensive. A lot of rambling, a lot of, lot of babbling before we get into these bags. Um, yes, so this is mine, but we always start with mom's. So yeah, also I have coffee. You guys may see me drink out of my coffee. It is a Dunkin' Cup. They don't sponsor me, but I work there, so they do fund the channel. All right, let's go. All right. I love the bags this month. I really did. I thought they were so precious. Stay golden, pony boy. Uh, yeah, but I love it. I love the the sun with the eye in it. Very like Illuminati-esque. I don't know. I don't, can I say that on YouTube? They're gonna come for me now. When I disappear, we all know why. Oh yeah, that's right. She got two palettes. She got a face palette and an eyeshadow palette, which you guys know, we haven't seen my mom get palettes in months. Like I think she's maybe gotten one palette in the past like three or four months. Crazy. Um, so yeah, so the first thing, I'm not even gonna pretend to try and guess what they chose for her and what she chose. Uh, I think she picked both palettes, but I could be wrong. First thing we have is a Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner. So it's a vitamin C serum is what it looks like. Uh, it's supposed to brighten, retexturize, and firm. Uh, sounds like a great product. Sounds like one that I would also like to receive. So this kind of reminds me, I know, I don't remember what serum it was, but it kind of reminds me, we got a similar one. It's one of the pump bottles, so it's not technically like a serum. It's probably gonna be more of like a cream, but it is, you know, a nice vitamin C based product. And I actually really like vitamin C based skincare products. So yeah, nice little guy. He is a fluid ounce, so good size. Yeah, good product. Next thing we have is from Dr. Eve Ryuth, I think. I've never heard of this brand, uh, but this is also a vitamin C product. This is a vitamin C mo night, night moisturizer, um, which I like. Funny that I like it because I don't, you guys know I work in the middle of the night, so I don't, I don't like 
really sleep. I kind of take naps intermittently. But a lot of times with certain night creams, if I'm not wearing makeup when I go into work, I'll like put them on because I'm, you know, like in, I'm not really touching my face. I still wear masks because I'm dealing with food. So I don't touch my face and it's kind of like, well, I'm not technically sleeping, but it's the same idea. So I do actually really like night creams. Don't know that my mom necessarily would use this. I just don't like, I don't feel, she has like a very specific skincare regimen and I don't know that she necessarily does like sleep moisturizing masks. Not that she wouldn't try it. I just, I don't know that she would use it that often, but it's a good product, I think. Anything with vitamin C, I'm pretty happy with normally. Next thing we have is Tarte Jelly Glaze. This is an Anytime Lip Mask. Uh, and this is from their C collection, which I like a lot. I love Tarte as a brand overall, so I am pretty happy seeing products from them in, at any time. Decent size. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of lip masks recently in both BoxyCharm and Ipsy. Like I feel like I've gotten several this year. I think my mom's gotten a couple as well. Not a bad product, but I don't, once again, I don't know if it's something she would necessarily want. But overall, just seeing the two palettes, I know that this is a better box. I mean, she told me this is the best box she's got in months, so. Uh, but I like, I like all the stuff she's gotten so far, and I'm really, I remember being really jealous. I think, I don't think I got this golden hour. I don't even think that I saw it until, yeah. Oh, really freaking pretty. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Um, just a nice, very, very beach vibes. I mean, that's obviously, you guys can tell it's like, you know, the waves and the sun glittering off of it. So, uh, yeah, gorgeous. I, I think she's gonna use all these colors. Uh, even the blue, uh, a lot of times with the bright blues, she uses them as like a waterline coloring because she likes to do blue on her under eyes. Yeah, I, uh, this pink sands is like such a gorgeous, like pearlescent pink. Oh, love it. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Kind of hoping maybe, I, I know it's weird to like ask for like recycled products. I know when we first were seeing how the Ipsy Plus was playing out, we were like, oh, there's a lot of, they're like, oh, they're doing the same products in, for different months. I kind of hope that this one pops up at some point for me so I can get it because it's a really pretty palette. And then the final one is from Hip Dot, which you guys know I love Hip Dot. Um, they did a nice little cheek quad. Oh, it's a little bit like funky. Like it's a little, I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but it's definitely like a little bit like, you know, when the pan starts like kind of push up and the product starts to crack, it's like you can tell that this uh, radiant shade is like that. But uh, it's, I would say that these two are probably blushes and these two are probably highlights. This one kind of could be either, but it feel like it's a little too dark to be a highlight because it's it's definitely very shimmery, but I think it's probably more of a blush, but really pretty, nice, uh, very like summery, the bright, you know, kind of orangey red blush, this nice little like peachy shade, and then you've got these two beautiful um, highlights. So yeah, definitely, definitely a nice bag. Definitely the best bag we've seen for mom in maybe all of 2021, if I'm being honest. It's, yeah, this was a strong one for her. I like all the products. Only one I don't really care that much about is the Tarte lip cream. If I'm being honest, I'm just, it's just not like a lip cream person. I don't really think to use it, so. Uh, but yeah, no, good bag. Yes, definitely. I think she's definitely a lot happier this month than she has been. My turn. I know I did get a palette, uh, but I didn't get either one of the ones that mom got, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Oh wait, wait, what? Okay, I, I lied, I'm tripping. Okay, it's been a really, it's been, I know you guys think I'm insane when I say a month feels like a year ago, but I really, I can't remember. All right, so first of all, I did get golden hour, so we can scratch that off the, the wish list. I did, I did receive that, okay. That was what it was. I didn't get the option for the hip dot cheek palette. And I said, I probably would have chosen that as well. Okay, I have an extra product here because my points were expiring and I finally got enough to get a palette. I had like 1900 or something like that. And I was like, ah, perfect. Now I can get one of the high dollar items, the 1800 point items. So, so that's what this is. We'll start with this since this is kind of like just a bonus. It's the half caked nine pigment palette for uh, your eyes only. It looks, <laughs> looks like a little floppy disc, which like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, ah, like there's like an entire generation of people who have no idea what that is, but I'm not one of them. And I got immediate like flashbacks of my childhood. Uh, but yeah, really pretty, uh, nice little neutral shades. Uh, a lot of really pretty glitter pigments in this one. I'm a big fan of the uh, the center one that's two on. And I also like the digital get down, this like kind of mauve red color. Uh, yeah, big fan. 
And I mean, I personally try and save my points uh, up for when they do pallets and stuff like that and when I finally have enough to get pallets. So that's when I try and, and redeem points anyway. So the fact that I had some expiring and I think September or something, I was like, well, I'll go ahead and get it. So yes. All right, now I, remember, I was like, what the hell? Okay, first thing I have is from Juice Beauty. This is a, an SPF 30 oil-free moisturizer. Big fan of Juice, Juice is pricey. So a lot of times if I see their products, it's kind of gravitate towards them because I know I do like their uh, formula and I, I know that they're, they nice, they carry a nice little hefty price tag. Um, I don't go out in the sun. Uh, when we go, went to Florida, like when we would go to Disney, when we traveled still, cause we still don't travel where I'm, I can barely go to a grocery store without having a panic attack still. So like, I'm still not in the like, like let's go do stuff mentality. Uh, so I don't really, and like, I don't know, we have like a frog infestation at our house. So like, I don't go sit in my backyard either. It's just sad. I'm just an indoor person anyway. I can't say I'm gonna use this regularly, but I, I always feel like whenever I do go to pack for trips where I know I'm gonna be out in the sun and I'm trying to look for moisturizers and face creams that are SPF, I don't have any. I have like sample sizes and that's it. So when I saw this, I was actually like, you know what? I think I have maybe one Murad one that's also full size that I got in an FC as well. I was like, you know what? I'll have them for whenever I start living my life again. Uh, next thing I have is from Fenty Beauty, which anyway, we all know that Rihanna does an amazing job with, uh, with her makeup line and pretty much everything else she does. So I was really excited to see this. They had a quite a few different colors. This is the uh, Stunna Lip Paint. This is the shade Uncuffed, which I felt like was the most neutral, which I would be most likely to use regularly. It kind of looks like a nail polish, nail polish, a nail polish. Um, but it is like, it's like that liquidy formula where I'm assuming it's gonna go on. It's probably gonna be a little bit messy as you're putting it on, but then it's gonna dry down and stay there for like ever, which I like. I like, I, first of all, I like matte lips. I saw something where somebody was talking about how outdated matte lipstick is. And I was like, uh, well, I guess I'm outdated then because I, I'm no, I do not like anything glossy. It's, it, it mm my hair just gets caught in it and I hate the feeling. So I definitely gravitate towards these kind of things. Really like the color and I'm excited to test it out to see um, like how the formula actually plays out on, on my persons. All right, next thing I have is from Il Makaj. Uh, I'm never sure if I say the name of their brand correctly or not. Um, I still have not tried their foundation that's like all over the internet. I want to, I want to know if it's really as good as they claim it is. But this is uh, one of their mascaras and the wand, I, I was able to like look up and see what the wand looked like and I, it looked interesting. Um, I, I can't, I think they chose this for me. I can't imagine that I went and picked it out myself. Like I think this is one of the two products that they picked for me. Um, just because normally, unless that there's like absolutely nothing else that I would possibly want or think that I might someday use or could give as a gift. I don't normally choose mascaras. I have a lot of mascaras from subscription boxes and free gifts and things like that. So I don't really need any, so I don't normally pick them. So I'm thinking they picked this for me, but I am interested to see, um, like I really like that brush. I like what it looks like it's going to do kind of that like lift and separate. I'm a big fan of the um, the metal or not metal, the plastic bristles that are kind of separated so that it, it, I feel like they do a better job of like keeping it from clumping. So yeah, I'm excited to, to test it out and see how it works. It may be the, the final decision if I finally order that foundation or not. And then I did get two palettes this month. I totally forgot that I also got two palettes this month. I got, no, no, now that's all coming back to me. I do remember, cause last month I got three palettes and I was like, still got two palettes, pretty damn good. Not as many palettes as last time. All right, so this one is from Chella, which I've gotten uh, quite a few brow products from them and I really like their brow products. So I was like, all right, cool. I don't think, I don't think I've tried any like of their foundation. I mean, they're, I'm so tired guys, uh, of their eyeshadow formulas, but I'm excited to try it though. So. Yeah, okay, so really cute. Honestly, kind of, I think, I do think I remember like looking at the two palettes and being like the two that I ended up getting and being like, they're kind of similar. Um, they both have like the blue shade, the vibrant blue shade and, um, but I like this one. I liked it. It was, uh, it had some cute stuff and they're good size pans. Uh, I think it's like a nice little like, oh, just kind of grab it and you know, can use a couple colors to make a pretty eye look. Gives you some variations and, and stuff like that. And then just to check and make sure my palette's not broken because we all know how my luck is with that. So we'll look and see at my golden hour one. Oh, such a pretty palette. I'm actually really freaking jazzed about this. I'm not gonna lie. It's been so long since I filmed a tutorial, but I feel like 
this is one of the palettes that I would probably gravitate towards. Like, I literally have boxes of palettes that I've gotten over the past like a year that we just haven't filmed with. And uh, I feel like this would be one of the ones that I would wanna try and film something with quickly. So yeah, like it. Uh, I think it was a strong month for both of us. Uh, I really, I like everything that I was able to uh, to get. Um, I don't think either one of us got like a bad product. Uh, I would say probably the two throwaway products would be mom's lip, lip uh, mask and my mascara, just because they're things that I feel like we don't either really need or use that regularly. But that being said, super solid bags. Um, if I had to pick out my favorite bag combined, I think I would probably still pick mine because I really like um, my palettes, but I, I actually like the skincare she got with her palette, so it's hard. If I had to pick out my five top products, I would go with my two eyeshadow palettes, which mom also got one of those eye palettes, so you, you, I guess that counts for both of them. Um, I would choose still the Uncuffed because I want to try this really badly. So that's three for my bag. And then I actually think, as shocking as it is to say that I wouldn't go with the Hip Dot palette, I think I would actually get her two vitamin C serums because um, I think both of those would be things that I would use regularly, probably more than I would even use the Hip Dot face palette. So yeah, strong month, really like it. Uh, I think Ipsy did a good job. I think it is insane, insane that the age makes such a huge difference. I'm not saying I don't understand why they would go for that. I, I'm assuming they're thinking, you know, women who are a little bit older are going to need more skincare. They're probably gonna gravitate more towards like skincare related items than like bright makeup items. But my issue is go that the, you're not really going off preferences then, you're going off of age and that's misleading because my mom's preferences didn't change at all, but the, the products that they were offered, that she was offered, putting her age 20 years younger, totally different. That's crazy. It really does kind of make me want to experiment with like changing my age around and seeing like what that means. If I make myself younger, if I make myself a little bit older, how will my options change? Um, I don't want to do that because I'm actually pretty happy with the fact that they keep, for the, the past couple months, I've gotten several palettes. Um, and I think that's happened several months this year too. Uh, I think only maybe one month I didn't get a palette at all. So it's, yeah, I don't know, wild. Anyway, what did you guys think about this month? Uh, what do you guys think about, you know, the products that we're seeing? Are you happy with it? Let me know. I love to hear your guys' uh, thoughts and, and stuff on, on the ipsies. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.